welcome to your fourth online music lesson, I Miss Digger. Thank you to everyone who shared pictures or videos of their box ukuleles. As always, it was awesome to see how creative you were within, with making your instruments and with writing your own song. This week, we will be making a brass instrument. Now, as you've probably realized, every instrument we've made has needed vibrations to make a sound. With our pan flute, we had to vibrate the air inside the straw to make a sound. With our drum, we vibrated the skin. And with our box ukulele, we vibrated the strings or the elastic bands. Now with a brass instrument, you need to buzz your lips to make a sound. I know, it sounds kind of funny when you don't have an instrument to do it into. And when you buzz your lips, it vibrates the air inside the instrument. Instruments in the brass family include the French horn, trombone, trumpet, tuba, and a bunch more. Now as you can see, they're all brass colored and all of them have mouthpieces that you would have to buzz your lips into. Now, because of that, if you cannot buzz your lips, you won't be able to play a brass instrument. So let's practice that now. So you push your lips together, and then you're gonna push air through your lips so that it comes out a very small hole in the middle like this. Now, as you can see, my lips aren't going That wouldn't make a very good sound in your brass instrument. You need to push them together, press your lips tight, then force the air out. Just like that. So take a few minutes now, practice your buzzing, and once you think you've got it, you're ready to start making your first brass instrument. Today we will be making a trumpet. Now this craft is gonna be a little bit more tricky than a lot of the ones that we've done so far. So if you find you're following along and you're like, I don't have this, I don't have that, that looks really hard. I've also included a link in the description of this video that has um, a different activity completely. It's not a brass instrument, it's a water bowl xylophones, but it's a really fun one that you can do and you will definitely have those supplies at home. But if you still wanna do the trumpet, you can follow along. For this activity, you will need a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube. You will need a water bottle or a two liter bottle, something like that. You will need some construction paper or some cardstock. You will need some tape and you will need a very sharp pair of scissors or you might even need a knife depending on how hard it is to cut your water bottle. All right, you ready? Let's get started. So first we're going to take our tube. Now, of course, you've been practicing your buzzing, so I'm sure you're excellent at this, but if you find that you're like, this craft looks really hard, you can also just buzz your lips into a paper towel tube and enjoy the sound. But we're gonna try and make it vibrate even louder. So you have your tube, I'm going to use my paper towel tube, and now we're going to try and make the mouthpiece because every brass instrument has a mouthpiece. So what I need to do is I need to cut off the top part of my water bottle so that the bottom is about the width of my tube. So if I put it over top like that, I could even make a mark with my pen if I want. So I know kind of where I want to cut. So trace a little circle kind of around the lines of where I want to cut off my water bottle. Ah, there we go. Now this is the part that you probably need um, help from a parent because next what I need you to do, to do is cut off the top of the water bottle. So you can try scissors, but if you're like me, I have a very thick water bottle, you're probably going to need to get a knife. So ask mom or dad to help you with this. And you're gonna slice off the top of it and that's going to make your mouthpiece. So once you've safely had a parent help you cut off the top of your water bottle to make your mouthpiece, you're ready to continue. So now we're gonna connect the mouthpiece to the body of our trumpet. So you can see mine fits okay, but if it doesn't, you can just kind of tape it on the outside. So you can use clear tape for this. It'll look a little bit nicer. I'm gonna use masking tape just so you can see it a little bit better. So I'm gonna hold my mouthpiece to the top of my tube. If it's thin enough, you can put it on the inside or you can rest it on the outside like mine. I'm gonna tape my mouthpiece to the water bottle, to the paper towel tube. And I'll probably do another piece just to make sure it's kind of secure, it's not gonna fall off while I'm playing it. There, 
you go. So now I've attached the mouthpiece to the body. Now, if you want, you can stop right here. You already have a functioning trumpet. But if you want, you can make a bell now. So if you want to make a bell, grab your construction paper or your cardstock. Cardstock is best because it's a little bit stronger, but if you're like me and you only have construction paper, that's fine too. So you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna draw a big circle. Now, if you want it to be a perfect circle, all you need to do is grab a big pot or something from your kitchen, a big plate, and you can trace that. But it can also be just close to a circle like mine is. Then you're going to cut your circle into four pieces with your pen. So cutting it into quarters like that. Then take your paper towel tube or your toilet paper tube and draw, trace a circle around the base of it in the middle of your paper. So it kind of looks like a big Pokeball now. Now I actually want this to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to draw another circle around the outside. So now I have two circles in the middle. So now we're gonna cut it out. Start by cutting along the edge of your circle, just along the outside. Okay, there you go. So now it looks kind of just like a big Pokeball. Now I'm gonna fold it in half with the lines on the outside. I'm gonna try and fold it along my middle line like this, okay? Now we're gonna cut along the outside circle with our scissors. This is gonna make a hole in the middle, which our paper towel tube is gonna go through. Okay, so now it kinda just looks like a big donut. Now, as you can see, it's still divided into four pieces. One, two, three, four. We're gonna cut one of those pieces out. But only cut out one of them. So now, it looks kinda like a donut that someone took a big bite out of, like that. So, we're gonna now kinda just fold it together and that's how you're gonna make the bell. Now, of course, if you have a perfect circle, you'll have a more evenly shaped bell, but if yours is approximate like mine, that's fine too. Now we need to attach it to the body. So take your tape now and take a big piece and just put it on like the edge of a table or something because you want it kind of easy to get at once you have wrapped your bell around the base of your paper towel tube. So fold it around. You don't want it to be too far down, right? You don't want it sticking out like this. It's not a skirt. Just maybe an inch or two from the bottom. You're gonna wrap it around. Once you find you've got the right spot, take your tape and tape your bell to your tube. Now again, I'm not worried about looking pretty, but if you want, you can take a little bit more time, make sure it's laying really flat. And of course, right now your bell is kind of flopping around, so I would tape that too. Keep it in place. And there you have it, we have a trumpet. You have the mouthpiece, the body, and the bell. And the bell just helps the sound resonate so that it's a little bit louder. Um, of course, you can decorate it now, cover all this up, use clear tape, anything you want to do to make it look a little bit nicer, and then go to town, play your instrument. <laughs>